all fields are evolving. New methods are being brought into all fields at all time. But there have been really big shifts in empirical economics, empirical political science, other social sciences, where we've started using experimental methods that health researchers have been using for a long time. RCTs, experimental approaches, really you could say you know, research design based um, empirical work. Uh, and Angerson Pischke's article is really nice for those of you, you know, who haven't read it yet. It, it lays out the, the, the trends in social science from the sort of isolated early experiments to how you know, momentum built around, uh, around these issues. So I just want to highlight some of the patterns Angerson and Pischke bring out about the last 25 years. And you know, maybe, maybe this is how it's going to go down with the new methods. I don't know. The first thing they point out, and it's pretty interesting, is 25 years in, 30 years into this, this you know, scientific revolution in empirical work in economics, there's a lot of heterogeneity across subfields in how widely they're used. Still, persistent heterogeneity. They put a lot of emphasis on this in their article. So even though in you know, um, development economics and labor economics and some other fields, in applied microeconomics, this sort of subfield of economics called applied microeconomics, uh, experimental and quasi-experimental approaches are widespread. They're not in, say, industrial organization. And one of the things I like about this article is Angerson and Pischke say, hey, there's all these really obvious applications of these methods into industrial organization, and one or two papers doing it, but somehow like the leaders in I.O., the powers that be in I.O., don't like these methods. So they haven't spread that much in industrial organization. So there's more divergence in methods than you would think would be called for based on the intellectual subject matter. That's pretty interesting. And I think it does speak to a world of multiple equilibria and methods. In certain research communities, certain methods and norms become standard, and that's an equilibrium. And in others, they don't. 